Hello my soccer universe. The Premier League is back and well, if I take the empty stadiums aside, everything is pretty much the same. The referees are crap, Arsenal is crap, Manchester City steam rolls Ars Arsenal and yeah, what can I say? I honestly saw only little of the action because there were other games that I was interested in, but I saw most of the first half of Sheffield United at Aston Villa and I have to say that, that was enough. I mean in the scene there was not much happening in the game but the scene of the game was clearly where uh, the goalkeeper of Aston Villa catches the ball on the line after I think it was a corner kick or something like that, um, catches it on the line Another defender is right there and he falls into that with the ball and there's the side view camera where you can clearly see the ball is with the full circumference behind the goal. Why am I saying uh, all that? Because the referee did not get any signal on his watch. Uh, I think the referee is the least to blame here. The least to blame. Um, because he relies on his watch that it shows. Um, a little bit more the linesman, because I mean, he has to clearly see that the goalkeeper fell in. He is standing there right there on the line. Um, but again, they are relying on goal line technology, which Hawkeye re uh, issued a statement. Yeah, that all the seven cameras that are used, uh, all the views were blocked, but there was one view where you could clearly see it. Okay, I understand. To really triangulate this well, you need probably three cameras pick picking it up. Totally understood that. However, now comes the next, next component. Um, we have VAR, don't we? Why? Really, why is no one saying to the ref, uh, you know, uh, I don't care what the watch said, but that ball was behind the line, better have a look at it. Or we had a look at it and it was behind the line, call a goal. Why? No one. Why? Uh, the, I, the way VAR is used in England is just beyond belief how botched it is. Um, and yeah, the point is probably not enough for either, either, either of them when Sheffield United is pushing for European spots, pro, potentially in Champions League and Aston Villa at that point hmm, could be tough. They probably needed three points. Um, and let me say when I'm, I'm complaining because of the principle. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, I actually was well, watching, I was definitely a little bit more for Aston Villa than for Sheffield United. Um, simply because I think that Aston Villa is a team that absolutely, absolutely, absolutely 100% belongs up there. But that aside, yeah, I, I, I would be happy if Sheffield United make my exit to Europe. Uh, that would be awesome. But in that game, my preference work were more in the, on the Villa side. But it's just not fair. And it, it beggars belief. I think in every other country they would have said, hey, that was a goal. Or, you know, you have the screen there. Look at it. Because there was one view where you can clearly see that there was daylight between the post and the hand. So, I uh, crazy. And then increase the, uh, the amount of cameras and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so that was uh, the first. And the game ended in goalless. Um, and City against Arsenal, again, I only saw highlights, but it was enough to see that David Luiz completely messed that one up. Yes, uh, Arsenal had two uh, 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 injuries in the first half that had to re be replaced, so uh, that's why uh, David Luiz had to come on. But first of all, his mistake of you know bouncing the ball directly into the path of Raheem Sterling for the 1-0, and then the penalty where he gets sent off, I'm sorry, uh, with that way you never, never, never have a chance of surviving uh, Manchester City. Yeah. Then um, very late, I think Aguero hits the post and Foden uh, hits it home. So uh, it was a poor showing. Also, I was not sure about if the jerseys uh, that Arsenal wore, yes, I think they could have worn the yellow ones. I think it didn't look good with uh, the third. It looked all right, but it didn't look good. What actually I did like, I mean, the whole Black Lives Matter and so on, I think is great that they're doing it. I have to say the, well, it's important to do it, that everyone is doing is kind of cheapens it a teeny bit in my view. 
but it is important that that message gets out there. I, I am personally a little bit uh, that they are doing so many things and I think there need to be other changes made. Yes, get the message out, but um, people have to step up and actually do something about it. That's how I feel. Um, and yeah, we have now the table. Let's look at that. Um, I'm assuming here that City is banned uh, so th uh, for, for the percentages. Liverpool will not become champions this weekend unless City loses uh, the game um, the, on Monday. Uh, so this week Liverpool will not become champions, but they have of course a clear lead and it's just a matter of time. Um, with City being banned, Leicester looks very safe in the Champions League. Chelsea and Manchester are also rather comfortable. And then it's between Sheffield United Wolves and uh, Spurs that uh, probably make for the Europa League. I don't think that we can we look at Arsenal. And then if you look uh, towards, towards the bottom, yeah, I mean the bottom three look like the bottom three at the moment. Um, West Ham is endangered, uh, but Aston Villa has a really tough schedule and even Norwich. Uh, I don't think they will have a they will have a good chance, but hey, let's see where it goes. Anyway, let me know. Probably more of you watch those games uh, <laughs> than I did. So let me know what you thought about uh, the games. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.